This is Section 6, Windows 10 Virtualization. This video is on Hyper-V. In this video, we will discuss what Hyper-V is, how to enable Hyper-V, and what you can do with it. What is Hyper-V? Hyper-V is a native hypervisor for Windows. It allows you to run virtual machines on your computer. This means you can run additional operating systems on your running Windows. These operating systems can be another copy of Windows or a Linux distribution. How do you enable Hyper-V? First, open up Windows Features by typing Turn Windows Features On or Off, then select the checkbox next to Hyper-V. Finally, click OK. Windows Features will search for required files, install them, and then require a reboot. Let's restart now. That's all there is to installing Hyper-V on your computer. Now what can you do with Hyper-V? Press the Start button and type Hyper-V, and you can do Hyper-V Quick Create, or you can go to the Hyper-V Manager. Let's click Quick Create. Quick Create allows you to create a virtual machine from packages that Microsoft has previously created. As you can see, we have M6 Packaging Tool Environment, Ubuntu 1804.2 LTS, that's the long-term support version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 19.04, which is the most recent version, and a Windows 10 dev environment. Let's select the Windows 10 dev environment, then click the Create Virtual Machine button. This will download the image for Windows 10 dev environment and spin it up on your machine. And that's all there is to it. Now we can connect or edit the settings. Let's connect. The Virtual Machine Connection window pops up. Click the Start button and the Virtual Machine will start. And it starts up just like any normal Windows would. Once it's booted, you'll find the out-of-box experience for Windows 10 so that you can create an account and set up this dev environment. Answer just a few questions. Select display size. I'll choose full screen and next. And then you are in your new virtual environment for Windows 10 development. It already has Visual Studio 2017 installed. So you can just go ahead and do your work, test out what you want to test out, and then when you're done, you just shut it off. And you're back to your Windows without having to mess anything up. 